Hi, in this video I'll show you a few ways to add a USB port to the new Rankin Split Mini V2. A USB connection can be used to quickly copy and review recordings and also do firmware upgrades more easily. Just paste the bin file to the SD card and reboot. Here is a basic layout of the camera as advertised, and you can already see the two USB data pins in this corner. These pads are not listed in the manual and are probably used for factory tests. Also, these two pads might not be present on earlier versions of this camera, so look for them on your board. Here is a basic connection diagram. Now you could solder a micro USB connector to the board like I did, or just use a micro USB breakout board and stick it to the frame. You only need to use ground D plus and D minus connections to get USB to work if the camera is currently powered from the LiPo battery or use protection di diodes if you want USB power to the camera module without the need to have a battery plugged into the quad. If you're going to use a diode to power the camera, please use a low voltage drop type. If you wire up VBA straight to the camera VCC input without this diode here, so the direct connection from VBUS to VCC input of the camera, make sure the quad battery is not plugged in when using the camera USB port. This red wire here is the same connection as the camera's VCC input on the other side of the PCBA, this one. You cannot wire up the red VBUS wire at all and just use ground and D plus and D minus connections to the USB connector. But then the quad battery will have to be plugged in for the camera to work. This diode here is not optional because you don't want to power up the whole quad from the USB port. Here is how I solder the USB connector on my quad. As you can see, I've wired up the USB Viva straight to the camera. This is okay as long as the USB and LiPo battery are not plugged in at the same time, or you'll be sending forest voltage to your PC USB port and damaging it. You could also just get an old USB cable, chop one end off, and solder the wire straight to the board to test this function out. The USB connection here can also be used to debug or fix certain broken split mini cameras that don't recognize the SD card. And here is how it looks all assembled on my quad. And a short test. Just plug into USB cable. Wait for the camera to boot up. There you go. Wait for Windows. And here now you can watch or copy all of your recordings much more easily. Also, the connection is quite sturdy, it doesn't have any problems. That's all, thanks for watching.